My head is Hey, right. we should do a keg stand for this. This has got the wild berries. Yeah, head not feeling too great. I don't know if I want to be upside down drinking alcohol. But who said it would be you that's upside down? Gravity. Oh yeah, good point. What's going on guys? We're the Cine Fanatics. My name is Chris Adams. And I'm Robert Adams. And we're doing a reaction to the Schmodown today. It's a team match. The Founding Fathers versus the Wildberries. Gotta like the Wildberries. But I also really like the Founding Fathers, especially because they're coming to Houston. More on that later. Ha! And Makuga's not. Uh, poor Makuga has to go to a wedding. That makes me sad. Would like to see Makuga, but I understand. Yeah, it happens. Um, yeah, so this match is going to be... Wild. And Barry. Yeah. Possibly. Fa father, fathery. And very founding. Nah, okay. That, that, that joke's only going so far. So, uh, who you got? <laughs> Here's the thing. I love the Wild Berries. They're one of my favorite teams. Yep. Uh, they're absolutely entertaining. They are very knowledgeable. They put on a great show. Founding Fathers is going to win this. Yeah, so featuring Dan Merle, who's currently champion and has been champion multiple times. Teamed up with uh, John Roca. Who's been champion multiple times. And has been team champion. Yeah, Founding Fathers has this. But expect expect Makuga and Dewberry to pull some wild guesses out of their butts. Because they have been known. Yeah, and it's going to be fantastic. Makuga, during his early Schmodown years... Years? Yeah, years. His early Schmodown runs has has gained this uh, this what this wild <laughs> uh, guessing persona like oh he can guess things and somehow he wins matches or does really well almost wins matches by doing that. So kind of, kind of reminds me when I was a kid I had the ability to foretell what song was about to play on the radio right before it actually started playing. Oh. Which is because I used to listen to the radio for like five hours at a time and I knew what songs they played like every five minutes. I'm like, you know what? It's been five minutes since they played that song. It's about to play again. I was going to say, you have a really weird superpower. Yeah, it is kind of weird. I wish I could use it for like good, but... I mean, or anything at all productive. Pretty much. Anyways, so Movie Trivia Schmodown is about to begin and yeah. we're going to react to it. Won't you join us? That was weird. Yep, here we go. Just give me a minute. I have to have a conversation with Stacy's new partner. Oh yeah. Oh, I am excited for this. And let's scene to the scene. Hey, Grace. Hey. Uh, I was really looking forward to finishing that conversation we were having. Figured. You know, uh, free for all. Maybe. I'm sorry. What conversation? star of this league and then you were pulling me in to take his spot you don't so you don't remember just, it's so it's just it's so weird it's just not ringing any bells <laughs> uh, well, I, I can't i can't believe this i i betrayed my best friend for you guys sorry what? i just don't think that happened but you said i was going to be the new leader of corruption you were looking and said those words oh no no, no. we have a leader honey Hello? 
Hi. Oh my gosh, I am so excited for you and Stacy. We can't wait. Yeah, I knew when you like feel I'm like, oh, don't jump the gun. Don't jump I the like gun. that. That was very well played because I mean, everyone was thinking it was going to be Zipper anyways, and now he shows up and you're like, mm, nope. That was a nice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and we know we're already starting off on a good foot here. Yeah. Hi, Christian. Good point. I saw this name change. I know Josh has turned a corner in his life, found the old gods in the new, and he now, uh, I, you know, recently shared a room with him. And in the morning, he said, Do you mind if we wake up and have a prayer? And it was uh, it was a different Josh. So yeah. we'll see what that does. <laughs> Look, the Wildberry, Mildberry, excuse me, yeah. are the ranked 10 team. They are 2 and 3. They, mm. they have won two matches before. They, they got bounced out of the tournament early, but they are very good competitors. We've seen what Wildman has done in the past. We've seen what Dewberry has done in the past, but they are going against arguably Mount Rushmore players in the hmm. outlaw John Roca, the former two-time singles champion and the Kingsman. current singles champion. His partner, Jack is floating around somewhere. Champion, Dangerous Dan Merle. Hmm. The founding fathers, you can, you know, you can applaud for the founding fathers. He's going to be Stacey's uh, partner? Are some of the competitors you think that was like was snuck in like a... Uh, no, that? No, no, I don't think that was intentional. No. I absolutely would put that just reminded me that Jack is flying around somewhere. That's a tough list though, but they're there for sure. Dan, we know what Dan can do. We know what he wants. He's a competitor. He's a sweet guy. I've had a romantic walk around town in New York with him. He's a sweet guy, but he's a fierce competitor. And John Roca, he's not just a persona. He is here. What you see is what you get from this intense competitor. He wants this. And it's very true. That's the thing. We know also, we know that May 18th, we know that the Founding Fathers are going to Houston against Double Toasted. We know that that's going to happen. That's locked in the books. So it is. there's a lot on the line here, too, because you don't want to go to, into Houston 1 and 2, but Ken, i got to tell you, as the yeah. manager of corruption, or co-manager, excuse me, to grace yeah. there, um, I think that the Founding Fathers have corruption on the brain. Is that going to hurt them? Yeah, here's where, you know, I, I try to keep up by standards as a broadcast journalist with you here christian but let's not let's not it's we can't throw out the truth here which is i believe the founding fathers are are looking past the mile barriers because corruption is in their brains right now and i don't know you make some decisions based on i'm sure you have a marketing meeting every week and what you want to do and who you're going to send to which town i get it i get it but they're one and one they're one and one, and you're sending them to the big time. Let's not let you their history. You think corruption should be there? I think corruption. Oh. I've never been to Houston. I heard they got good food. I want to oh, so go. This is about you guys. Uh, maybe, but I, I think I, I, I. But you make your calls. You're a great businessman. I trust what you Might got. Might be some uh, great them. insight to some possible storylines that we see in Houston. From what they're well, doing we'll now, and I I'm think saying they're thinking that too. We're gonna see what happens what? today. And there's a lot of words said between both teams. Here we go. I think there's going to be cameo appearances in Houston. And we know there's something pretty big is going to happen there. Well, Josh? Hey, Elliot. Here we are again at the uh, movie trivia showdown. We sure are. Whoa, Danny Boy! <laughs> Danny Boy, you can hear the song, you know the song, you hear it, we're back again. We took a little bit of a break. And now we are back. It's 2019. I got a new head. I'm a new outlaw. You are a new man, a three-time champion. Are you ready? Of course I'm ready, John. I'm always ready to play this game. You start looking down the road, sometimes you miss what's right in front of you. So today, we're worried about the wild berries. And that's the only thing we're worried about. A lot of people coming out and saying, hey, mild berries, stop being so mild and uh, win a few matches. And we think to ourselves, we're two and three. 
We've won some. Things. I don't need to raise my voice about that. I the record speaks not. for itself. Let, let me tell you what else speaks for itself. This lovely 2009 shard I've been in, uh, partaking in, and I believe you're, or is that a cab? It's a uh, 2017 cab. 2017 I'm not cab? Not quite as ripe as the, sh as the shard you got there, but. The aroma coming from your cab right now is uh, quintessential mild berries. John, we've been playing this game for a long time, but we haven't been <laughs> as a team for a very long time. We played two matches, we did great in one match, we got all the way to the end of the other match. You know what? That's on me, John. I was the guy that couldn't get it written down in time. Maybe if I got that written down, we could win that match. We'd be 2-0. and But it doesn't matter. I know that the team's division thinks that they know what we can do. They know what we're capable of. And they some don't know, John. Irish We've guy named O'Russell Russell games. really got to play. add to his resume oh, in that David match. David O'Russell. <laughs> David O'Russell. That <laughs> well-renowned <laughs> movie director. <laughs> I have seen John Roca. Movie director. Uh, <laughs> I have almost beat John Roca. And when I, I apologize almost, for I all defending him. everybody who uh, I just defended. I'm so really sorry. Appreciate the mild man. Yeah, and you know, I played McCoy before. You were someone? Was a, you know, I'm early sure. On in the uh, only beat him by one point. <laughs> that is not a guy to look past. Elliot, you don't know what you get in Elliot when he comes through the door. So who knows if they're going to bring their A game. Team Mildberries taking on these founding fathers. They call themselves the founding fathers. I'd like to point out, I was one of the original competitors in the movie trivia showdown. And you could call me a sort of founding father, I guess. That would be fair. Uh, it's, uh, it's actually not very cool that they took that title for themselves. I agree. Uh, I agree. It's, it's a bit exclusionary. Yeah, you know what I said when Dan lost Andrew? I said, an angry Dan is a dangerous Dan. Now you go times two, an angry Dan and an angry Roca is a dangerous team. And now that we found our rhythm, everybody in the tag team division should be super afraid of what we're bringing to the table, because you know what we do. What we do is go for belts and go for titles. Either way, we've got fish to fry, one match at a time, but we want Team Corruption. That's the goal. So we have to take care of business today. Fish. So we can take fantastic. care of business in Houston and then take care of business against Might be a little Team hungry. Karai Baby. Founding Fathers, I see you're very earnestly gunning for this win. I like your hats. They're very nice. Great hats all around. Uh, not really my style. Not at all. If I have to be honest. <laughs> not your style. No, not at all. Wildberries, I know you have fun playing the game. Everybody knows you have fun playing the game. You know what? We have fun playing the game, too. But we also take the game very seriously. And we're not just out there to have a good time. We're out there to win. That's right. That's what we do. We win. Look, Wildberries, you're going to bring it. I know you are. I'm looking forward to this match. We're not looking past you. It's going to take all our efforts to come get you. But, you know, they call us the horsemen for a reason. That's because when it's time to ride, that's what we do. We take care of business. Giddy up. So let's let's have a real civil movie showdown match today. Let's let's keep the voices. Let's keep it at our inside voices. That's correct, because uh, nothing quite says Mildberry like a mild victory. like the weirdest screenshot ever they're the best you know it's interesting ken because you know you look at it's it's true to where dan merle he made a, a a comeback last year had a rough start but obviously that rough start turned out into something spectacular because now here he is as the singles champion and the way that he played in new york if that dan merle shows up today look out wildberries he probably could beat them by himself but john roca also had a great season he won his cha second championship john roca is also a former team champion so these guys together when they hit their rhythm they haven't hit it yet when they hit their rhythm, and I think it's just a matter of when, the league is going to be on notice, and the Wildberries are hoping, excuse me, again, the Wildberries are hoping it's not today. They're, they're hoping it's not today. I wonder if they're going to change the graphic to say Wildberries. We'll find out. All right, here we go. I mean... Some notable accomplishments for the Wildberries. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> so that's an accomplishment. Played at the, one, the first live <laughs> event, and can drink anyone under the table is apparently an accomplishment. They have been uh, in this tournament. Well, trust me, it's an accomplishment. Yeah. If you find yourself in a gutter in Seattle, you know you've had a good time with Josh McCook. All right, so... You got the founding fathers. Between the two of them, they have six championships. That's right, six championships between the two of them. They have been playing in the league since the second season. So for they the also have title for this video, do I need to call it Founding Fathers versus the Mild Berries? Of the game. All right, Ken, with that, are you ready to get so going? So confused. So, I am ready. Ladies and gentlemen, Why do I have to be the one to edit the these videos? Trivia!
I would call it wild berries. Yeah, I know. That's what they're calling it. So. <laughs> that's a meta reaction for y'all. Really? He told the Carlton. <laughs> like, low key, just because I'm yeah. sitting. Makuga's joining you there. They both are. The wild berries. <laughs> How is it as like the years that this has been going on? We really haven't seen that. Like, I don't believe I ever remember competitors coming up and shaking the hands of the commentators. You know too much too, but it's good stuff. All right, all right. It would be the mild berries who do that too. Reception. Uh, this is a 2009 Shard. Uh, Elliot's got a 2017 Cap Sab. If you guys are out there shopping at home and you want to drink like the Mild Berries, drink like this. And their opponents! <clears throat> With a record of one win. I wonder if they're just going to like explode at the end of the video and they're just going to go back to wild. I wonder if that depends if they win or lose. I'm willing to bet, like, if they lose, they're gonna be like, screw it, we're gonna be the wild berries again. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I mean, that might be just, I mean. I'm here for it. Yeah, no, I mean, that's that's a great idea. It's a fun little video, but I'm gonna call it now. No guy fox mask. Yeah. I like that mask on Roka. That's a kind of a cool look with the cowboy hat. I feel like he's uh, he's been retiring it lately. A little too close to the camera there. <laughs> there's the outlaw and there's the outlaw's pores. It shines. It shines. That's kind of cool. They're what starting to display who does the uh, yeah, does that oh, go with the music? theme. Yeah, that's awesome. Having a name, yeah. Oh, that is so awesome. A bit garish for my taste. Yes, yeah, so it's a it's a bit loud, if you will. But you know, hey, everybody's got their own style, Elliot. You know that's, that's right. All right. So as they sit down, I'd also like to say and give a note to everybody here too that the. All of these contenders, um, I believe, made their debut in season two of the movie series mm. Schmodown. Well, season one is available on audio right now on Schmodown Classic. That's right. Go to Schmodown Classic, download it, listen to it, get reintroduced into all these characters. Season two through season five will be on Schmodown Classic. Get it today. So you could say that no one at this table is technically a founding father. Oh, well, Makuga is. Oh, wow. Uh, I would like to uh, technically agree with that. Is is I was one of the first original competitors in, oh, in the first right. final of the uh, movie trivia. I'm Shmoda. sorry, Josh yeah. actually debuted in season one. I that's, am that's correct. Thanks, that. thanks, thanks, Christian. It's okay. <laughs> hey, listen, nobody's perfect. Hey, you know, you're trying to block it out of your You're trying to block that out. All right, all right. You know what I think the blue fairy could do. All right, so uh, we, are, uh, we are going to now go into round number one, and round number one is going to work like the following: the Counting Fathers. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Mile Bears, are you ready? Yes. yes, sir. Then let's get ready to schmoda! Uh, Alright, I'm gonna start out here. Here we go. Pin looks good tonight. Uh, the Marker. Dramas, which film directed by Paul Thomas Anderson co-stars Tom Cruise, Julian Moore, and Jason Robards? Uh, I think I have that one on VHS and DVD. Um, you do? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Both? And I just collect all formats. All right. Garbage can, let's do five. Four, three, yeah. two, I think I'm right. one. Pens down, Josh, and Roka. Magnolia. Correct. Sorry, so one. I was saying, I didn't didn't happen. No. All right, Merle. Magnolia. All right. Yes. Dewberry. Magnolia. All right. Okay, well, so we never, I was correct with Magnolia. Some other white flower. Category of action adventure. Action slash adventure. Who plays Princess Pepe in Shanghai Noon? 
I went with Pie Pie, so I think you're right. I, I watched a clip before to make sure I got it right. Was she, was she in that? That's what a broadcast journalist does. Well, that's what I don't do. Yeah. <laughs> How do I spell her name? Four, three. We might not be thinking two, the same person. One. Pens down, ah. pens down, and oh, Makuga. Probably not. Uh, Bay Ling? No. Drop ah. again. Michelle Yo? No. No. Dewberry? Nothing. No. And Roka? Lucy Lou? Yes. That is correct. Roka. That's probably Ling also. Roka. <laughs> like, we just started naming off Asian actresses. Lucy Lou. <laughs> oh, you got it? I don't know if I spelled it right, but. I knew. Yeah, here's the next not one. Not Shanghai Knights. No. Shanghai yeah, Knights. see, that's what I thought, like, Pai Ling also. Boom. This is. Who plays the villainous arch enemy Dieter von Kuhnf in 2010's McGruber? <laughs> oh, well, you saw a little bit of the wild coming yeah, back up. Yeah. Who was the uh, bad guy? Sorry, fantastic, McGruber? fantastic. Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> Uh, uh, Five, South America, four, three. I know this. I'm gonna feel McGruber. stupid. One and Dan. Three seconds, McGruber. Val Kilmer. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Drawn a blank. Oh, and uh, Roka. Val Kilmer. Yes. Oh, hey, my gosh. cool off with a few few Molsons. It's Val Kilmer. <laughs> Val Kilmer. All right. Well, the Bounty Fathers <laughs> find themselves a three-point lead here. Two. It's all right. We got to come back up. All right. All right. Come back up, and they say for the Mile Bears, fourth question comes in the category of animated. Animated. <laughs> what type of animal is the title character in the animated film Norm of the North. Yep. This is one of the best movies I've seen. Norm of the North. It's not a real movie. I've never <laughs> seen that movie. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. It's uh, Norm of the North. Like an There's two I'm animals sure that I can think so. of. No Three, two, one. It's one Denver. of those two. Is it a Yeti? No. no. <laughs> not, not that. Dog? No. no. I was say moose? No. no. A polar bear? Yes. yes. Oh, it's it's a polar bear. The penguin. Ah, oh, you went with the other one. Yeah. And because of it, it is now 6 2 4 point lead. Okay, if only they knew that. <laughs> okay, next question is fantasy yeah. sci fi. It's yeah, mildly. It's fantasy sci fi. Fantasy sci fi. Name the 90s sci fi adventure film that has a lead character called The Mariner. 90s sci fi so, adventure? Yeah. Lee character called yeah, the Mariner. Like recruitment video with Ken Griffey. Oh, um, nope. What's his name? Five, I can't remember. Four, Randy Jason. Johnson. Three, um, two, one. Pens down, stupid. please. And John Roca. Uh, Waterworld? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Oof. Waterworld. Yep, Dan. Waterworld. And Elliot. Waterworld. Oh, got it. Waterworld. Yeah. Last second. Yeah. Waterworld. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> I don't think either one of us have actually seen that movie though. Try not to. Thriller. Horror slash thriller. Skip this one. All right, skipping this. That one's okay to admit that we haven't seen. Christian Bale is a factory worker who suffers from severe insomnia in what psychological thriller? Um. Very intense competition. It is. It's intense. It's five. It's mildly intense. Yes, you know it. Two. Yeah, factory one, worker. Pens down mm -hmm. and Josh McFuga. I believe it's the machinist. That is correct. Dan. The machinist. That's Elliot. The machinist. That's and the machinist. Yes. All right. The, the machinist. The mechanist. Yeah. Here's, here's the next one. This is 80s movies. 80s movies. Who starred as Mercedes Lane opposite Corey Haim and Corey Feldman in 1988's License to Drive? Um. I love this movie. Yeah. Let me tell you a little story about License to Drive. I, I think that's the one Corey Haim and Corey Feldman movie I haven't five, seen. Four. <laughs> the whole one? Well, he might Mile not know eight. the answer. No, it didn't. Like the last Two, eight seconds? One, pens down, no and Dan Merle. Nicole Eggert? No, uh, no. Dewberry. No idea. No, Roca. Heather Graham? Yes, and... Huh. Graham. Yes, and look at that. Still that four-point lead, though. It's still sticking to 11-7, the four-point lead, because Roca hit my, it on that my one. My first car did, was a 1987 Toyota Celica, licensed to draft. Did, did Josh That's lose his virginity sure. at eight? That was the reaction uh, I was going for. That's a weird one, though. Peanut gallery. All right, final, final question in the round. question you should know the answer to. Eight questions, eight, uh, eight questions. Nope, not Nor is it one you should ask. Famous actors and actresses is the category. Famous actors and actresses. Which film was Will Smith first nominated for a lead actor Academy Award? A.K. Mm. Uh, I don't know if it was, but I think... Interesting question. For lead actor. We got it right. Five. Who's thinking? Four. Two very right. Three. Oh, Two. no. One. Oh. Elliot. Sidney Poitier. 
What? What? He so was never in a movie he called, was never in a movie called City Boy. Uh, Roka. Uh, Pursuit of Happiness? No. no. <sighs> Ali. Yes. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I figured it out as soon as... Pursuit of Happiness. I figured it out as soon as I finished writing. Like, oh, no, it's I forgot Ali. about Ali. <laughs> it's Ali. Uh, <laughs> if he was a Titan, I would have remembered. I have not seen that. I mean, I kind of want to see that now. Yeah, I kind of want to see that now. All right, so now All we're right. going to get round to round question. number two. And round number two, the boy will ask the Founding Fathers yep. if they would like to go first or second. But Christian, let's also remind that today's match, uh, we also that today's match is sponsored by our Shmodown patron, Reefton. Reefton at patreon.com. Thank you, Reefton. Slices for today's matches are movie quotes and modern we classics. We enjoy Thank Never you, mind. Reefton. Go to patreon.com slash down if you want to support. Also, Wheel Slice for today's match was sponsored by one of our patrons. And that Wheel Slice Think about is it, you'll Kurt get it. Russell. If we get that selected, we'll give you that name of that patron. All right. So... Thank you, Ken. So with that, I will ask the founding fathers, would you guys like to go first or second? Uh, we're going to go second. 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 All right. So Put the pressure on. Put the pressure on. What All is right. Makuga doing? What's, what are you trying to wave down? Uh, we were just getting some free fills on our wine. Oh, okay. Oh, so okay. while you guys, well, while you wait for your wine, you also have a chance to spin because they passed you. Okay, so you guys cool, cool, go. Cool, cool, so cool. spin from the wheel. You go for it. Me? Yeah. All right. well, Josh from the wheel, not right. the pegs. Hell of a guy. Yeah, from the... From... <laughs> Don't don't yeah. break the pegs as we wheel. That's not the, the pegs. That's the point. Wheel, not pegs. Yeah, there you, there you go. Look at <laughs> <laughs> he should be very familiar with the wheel after his years of bringing it out. I yeah. Say, you know, we don't need to be better than this. this is no, good. no. This is good. Oh, look at this. Uh, look at this. Uh oh. Look at this. Oh, look at that. oh nice. Look at I mean, you never know. Yeah. Looking at the categories. Are you going to spin again? That'd be amazing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that would be Are you going to spin again? <laughs> oh, so we're going to do comedy. Comedy. I don't want Spiro's choice. Comedy. Are going to spin again? That'd be amazing. Comedy. <laughs> and then if they won, that would be the most awesomest moment ever. All right, first question. Good Ian Lord, dude. Undercover brother who played Conspiracy Brother. Dave Chappelle. All right. Chappelle. <laughs> wow. <laughs> This might be the quickest I've ever seen anyone what answer. What brand of chewing gum sponsors Ricky Bobby in oh. Talladega Nights? Juicy Fruit. Yeah. Uh, is it? Yeah. I believe so. Five, four, and answer. Four, three, two. Repeat the question. It's one. What brand of chewing gum sponsors Ricky Bobby in Talladega Nights? Go for multiple choice. Although, I mean, there's not many brands of chewing gum, so you'll probably get all four Still of them. Five. <clears throat> Rook and Dammel. Incorrect for steel, two point steel. Still no. It's juicy fruit. Big red. That's correct. Two two oh. six, I'm wrong. Honors. What were you saying? All right, all right. Third question out of six. Should have gone punch. Mel Gibson and Helen Hunt's characters collaborate on an ad campaign for what sports brand in the 2000 uh, romantic comedy What Women Want? You, you want to take this? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Nike running. Uh, that, that's correct. Nike. Woo! Yeah. Two points. Well, specifically uh, Nike running. It's a great movie. You what Women Want? The concert. better of uh, the right. What fourth Genders question, Want question. movies. Wesley yeah. Snipes, Patrick Swayze, and what actor play drag queens in the 1995 comedy Two Wong Fu? Wesley Snipes. Oh, John Leguizamo. John Leguizamo, yeah. John Lake was on. That's correct. Two wow. points there. Yes. Two points there. Fifth question. Fifth question. Fifth question. In bridesmaids, what are the party favors being handed out to all the guests? Golden retriever puppies. Yep. That That's is right. correct. I didn't, didn't even need to finish it. Jeez. Didn't wow. Didn't need to finish it. I got seven puppies. It was too many puppies. Now that I look back on it. All right. All right. <laughs> Uh, we've got, uh, question, five, question right? this is the final question. This is the final question. Oh, okay. the final question here. In Austin Powers International Man of Mystery, what was the name of number two's henchwoman that often seduces? In the first one. There's a euphemism name, right? Uh, a lot of vagina. Five. Yes, she does. Four. Three. Can I say uh, it on this channel? Second one. Second one. In Austin Powers International Man of Mystery, like what right? was the name of number two's Fugina. henchwoman yes. yeah, okay. that Austin seduces? That's in a pro pro. <laughs> Five. Multiple choice. A. Pussy galore. No. B. A lot of vagina. C. Brownie <laughs> shetitles. D. Ivana Moorhead. I gotta edit this <laughs> entire. Okay. <laughs> so why this is not family friendly. We went to multiple choice on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> 
steel was pretty big, though. The steel was pretty big. Now John Roca is now walking up to the wheel. Well I'm not going near that wheel. <laughs> Mer like, I, we might wheel. lose with this point, wheel. but sure. we have to John go to most choice. Wheel, so we, we can snicker and giggle so we can things. <laughs> so we can see what Skaliski <laughs> came up with as the other options. It's a fickle mistress. Of course, he has a digital wheel. There's no opponents or spinners, so Dan wants away from that wheel. I like the digital wheel. I think it's coming back. Oh, it's You're the only one. Oh, that's. Oh, oh wow. That was something. Right? That, would, that would have been interesting. Yeah. Just that far. Just got away, but now we're going to get six questions in the realm of Tim Burton. All right, guys, here we go. Six questions. Six questions in Tim Burton movies. This actress played Margaret Keene in Tim Burton's 2014 uh, Amy film, Adams. Big Eyes. Amy Adams. Correct That's for correct. two she points. She does have big eyes. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, here I like Alita. Yeah. This actress played Peg Boggs, Kim's mother, an Avon lady extraordinaire in Tim Burton's Edward Scissorhands. Who was that? I need to watch these again. Kathy Baker? It's incorrect. It's incorrect. <laughs> The steal for two points. It's been a while. Oh, it's the woman from Picket Fences, right? No. Oh wait. Uh, m uh, Mary Elizabeth Matheson. No, it was Diane, Diane Weist. Diane, Diane yes. Weist. No, but I, I love I the excitement. Can see the face. There. She's yeah. so sweet. All right. Here we go. Here's the next question. Here's the next question. In Tim Burton's Mars Attacks, what Slim Whitman song kills the oh, Martians? Oh, jeez. I can hear it. I don't know the name. Choice, please. I don't know the name of it. Song of the Wild. B. More than yesterday. C. Indian Love Call. And D, the cattle It's call. either C or D, it's a call. Probably Indian yeah, love call. Did you get a guess here? C? That's correct. That's yeah. Point. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. Question Halfway four. Nice. Question four, here we go. Neck and neck. In Tim Burton's Batman, what is the Jack Joker's Napier. Name? Jack Napier, yeah. Jack Napier. That's correct. For That's two correct. Points. And a lead. Number four. That is correct. All right, number five. Tim Burton was a producer, writer, and production designer for this 1993... Uh, Nightmare Before movie. Christmas. So. Mm -hmm. The Nightmare Before That's Christmas. Correct. That's right. Yeah. That's I was right. saying he wasn't the actual uh, director of that. Yep. This is number six, sir. All right, number six. Here we go. Tim Burton received his first Golden Globe nomination for Best Director for this film. Oh. Big Ooh. Fish? It's multiple choice. A, Alice in Wonderland. B, Big Fish. It's all C, Tim Burton Edward movies. Scissorhands. D, Sweeney I think Con. Big Fish. Uh, I would go with Big Fish also. Either Big Fish or Sweeney Todd, I think they're closest to like award quality caliber movies. Three. Hello, Edward Sweeney Todd. One point. Yes. Okay. Uh, Sweeney Todd. Point I love Sweeney Todd, four, so. Four. Now they're up five. Not impossible. The no, Demon no, no. Barber of Fish Street. It's a good, good movie. The Wild Bears did very possible. good. Five yeah. points. Five points, and it's like the. I just can't take it anymore. I can't do it. I'm done. The Wild there you go. <laughs> there it is. Couldn't wait till the end. I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> they changed the graphic to wild berries. <laughs> Everything just went off the rails. <laughs> Here we go, round number three. The competitors will choose three numbers from one to twenty. First one will take your watch off. Take it off. First one is two. Have used two JTEs. They have one left. The founding fathers have all three of their JTEs. So we said it was going to be like a. <laughs> all right, founding, founding. We said it was going to be the end of the episode, but you know what? Just choose three numbers from one to twenty. <coughs> oh, well, six because uh, five, 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 five. But please pick three numbers from one to twenty. <laughs> okay, eight, two, and fifteen. Eight, please. two, and fifteen. They that uh, well too, well too far in advance. All right, mm -hmm. and the wild berries. We were doing it while you were running around like uh, a jackass. Three. <laughs> what was it? Three. Cool, cool burn, Dan. Three, three. <laughs> <laughs> 
three. Yeah. Uh, nine. Uh, nine. Uh, Twenty-one. Uh, yeah. That's not an option. It's not an option. It's not cool. An option. Fifty. Uh, uh, one. One. Okay. All right. Like three, three, nine, and one for the three, Wild Bears. All right, Eight. so the Wild Bears will go first and try to stay alive here against the Founding Fathers. All right, here we Eight, go. Eight, two, fifty. I think Can I just say something real quick? Of yeah. I, 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 th thank you. I knocked the straw situation earlier for the Chardonnay, but it's actually a very effective way oh, to just consume a ton of Chardonnay. That's how you get drunk fast. All right. All right, well, That's here we go. Eight, eight, two, fifty. I love this show. It's the first day I started working with Dan Merle. That's why you jumped it. That's why you jumped it, right? Happy anniversary. All right. Okay. Here we go, guys. So you're going to start with your two-pointer. Your two-pointer is category number three, and that's some scores and soundtracks. Oh, for crying out loud. Who wants that one? <laughs> Man, I, mean, I suck at that category. All right, I'll take it. All right, here you go, Josh. <laughs> Who composed the score for 2009's Avatar? Oh. Um, Silvestri? All right. Who is it? So there's like three people I know that make music. <laughs> John Williams, James Horner, and Hans Zimmer. And Five, I think it was Horner. Four, Horner? Three, you can't two. Oh, right, Hans Zimmer? Incorrect. The answer is James Horner. <laughs> <laughs> And Eric Rodriguez's uh, clips later. And Makuga just made a heel turn. Now I gotta get disinfected. I just had these pants strike thing, you're fine. Alright, here we go. So now that. Woof! Okay, now now we go to category, a lot more nine. Now. category 9 is Angelina Jolie. Dewberry, you cannot discuss with each other. Cannot discuss. I forgot that role. Here we go. What a question. Here we go. Dewberry. You got a lot of things today. Who stars as ex Marine turned mercenary Terry Sheridan? Working alongside Laura uh, Croft, James Bond. the mythical Pandora's box in Tomb Raider, the mm, Cradle of Life. No. Cradle of Life? No, he was in the first one. <laughs> it's, uh, Leonidas, 300. Five. Oh, this is Sparta. Three, uh, yeah. Two. Can you repeat the question? That's your last one. I forgot his name. That's the last one. Who stars as ex-Marine, Terry Butler, yes. Terry Sheridan, working alongside Laura Croft, the oh. mythical Pandora's box in Tomb Raider, the Cradle of Life. Five, four, three. Michael Bean. Gerard Butler was the Gerard oh, All right. Butler. So now. I was going to say yeah. Timothy Oliphant. Gerard Butler is interchangeable. It's not, yeah. it's not over. It's not over here because if the more. Wild Berries hit this, it is tied and bounces <clears throat> back to the Founding Fathers. If they don't, then the Founding Fathers will have their second TKO. Here we go. Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen is the category. Charlie Sheen is the category. At that. This is Five right up the wild berries alley. He's never in this movie. Five which points. is it? All right, here we go. <laughs> it's like nine million. Charlie Sheen starred with Michael Bean <laughs> and Bill Paxton in which 1990 <laughs> military action film? The Michael Bean. Bill you guys can confer. Here, watch it. You can't. You can't talk. No, you can't. Oh, we can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, when did you change five, these rules? Two, Four. Three, yeah, two, that wasn't 90s. Winners, oh, oh, oh. Way of ah, what was it? The answer was Navy Seals. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, Platoon was way earlier. We're ready. You know, I respect I mean, John's passion. I respect Dan's passion. Today's Monday, the 22nd of April, but, <laughs> <Careful> <laughs> <holding his laughs> to but I mean, we're ready. Yeah. Maybe that belt polish I'm, that uh, Sam Levine called back for. Uh, let's cut to the Wild Berries after show. Welcome. Hey, guys. Um, uh, we're the Wild Berries. Uh, you guys yeah. just watched us uh, take on these 
Jagoffs. He's ghouls. And, um, He's ghouls. Listen, we, uh, we're great people. Um, if you guys want to buy some t-shirts, fantastic. Uh, you guys want to start drinking Chardonnay and Cabernet? We're all about it. Um, you can find all those things, minus the drinks. Go, go ahead and call, and the, the, call the number down below. This is your official Wild Berries after show. Oh, you you pick up there the phone go. and dial tpublic.com. Yep. There you go. Thank you to the Wild Berries for that one. All right, yeah. It was, look, yeah. it, it was, I actually think that it hurt them when they transformed into the Wild You know what? I have to agree with you there. It seemed to they change well. kind of their dynamic. You saw that Makuga luck doesn't necessarily, it shows up, but then he, he whispers Horner. He says he had Horner. It. He, he had, had Horner. it right there. He had Horner. He, he, said, he literally they said, might have changed the fortunes. I think James Horner. And yeah. then he picked some. And then he picked, picked Hans Zimmer. Hans Zimmer. So, he, yeah, he, yeah. He, he had it. And yeah. then, he, once again, the Wild Berries, the Wild Berries playing really tough. And f they were in this game the entire match. The they entire were. match. But, but this is what I said before him. Mm -hmm. When the founding fathers started to lock in as the manager of corruption, trying to take the bias aside, you got to know that this is a team that looking down the other side of that table, it's a scary sight. Yeah, look, they've got to go to Houston. They've got to win there. Do they look past Double Toasted and uh, stare at corruption oh, and, get, to, and get, off, you know, get off their game? We'll find oh, out. Uh, we'll see if they can focus it in, you know? All right, so now we are, are you excited? going to go behind Just a little. the scenes okay, here good as tell. we have Jen Sturger, who's with the Wildberries and the Founding Fathers. Here we go. What's up, Movie Trivish Modal fans? Jen Sturger here with the Founding Fathers. Guys, first of all, is the belt okay? <laughs> I had it, I, I had it uh, uh, looked at by some medical professionals. It appears that we got lucky this time, so that's why I've got it back on my shoulder. I'm shocked you have it back on your shoulder without <laughs> disinfecting it, to be completely honest. I um, get a couple things to sign off on it to make sure it's safe. <laughs> we had to use a lint brush to take all the hair off from the oh, Jesus. Wow. Yeah, but you have, to, you have to give it to the wild berries. They did hang in there with you guys. And to Absolutely. hang with two legends like you, I mean... It's no small feat, even for them. No, absolutely. You know, it was a blast to play them. They're a tough team. You know, they changed characters midway through. Everything possible to throw us off, but you got to give them respect. They hung with us. And we knew... We didn't look past them. We knew they were going to be a tough team. Makuga has won some incredible games in this Schmodown. You can't look past them. So, uh, you know, it was a good match. Yeah, we didn't we didn't play a flawless game. No, nope. played a really good game. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's there's no easy win. Even a, even a TKO or a knockout yeah, yeah. in Schmodown. That's not easy. It's not easy to do. There's not there's no easy game. Yeah. in the Schmodown. Absolutely, especially like you said, when you don't know what you're going to get from Josh Makuga on any mm -hmm. given day. So, I guess all of the questions lead up to. You're going to be playing double toasted in Houston. It's a big yeah. deal. Um, but the ultimate goal, I think, is you're going to end up having to face corruption sooner or later because they've been calling you guys out. It's Any a, thoughts on that? It's ironic that they would call us out, but I guess they, they also know that their victory was tainted in a, in a piece of shit. And so they know they want to, like, really beat us. So I like that they're calling us out. I enjoy that. I'm not going to go that far, but I will say that, uh, you know, we, we're not we're not worried that too much about corruption right mm. now. Double Toasted, not only are we playing in Houston, we're playing on their turf. Yeah. You know what they call it? They call that an away game. Yeah, it is. And when it's an away game, uh, forget the favorites, forget leads. The <laughs> crowd's going to be with them. Yeah. Uh, we're not going to be in the familiar environment. They're going to be in the familiar environment. <laughs> that, that's an away game in on. Texas? So, trust me, I know. You, if you Ooh, come out that's a whole maybe, another monster y'all aren't prepared for. Lights, uh, crazy things well yeah, so that's, that's what i'm worried about. that's the thing that we have we played in live events multiple live events true so we've got a little bit of experience we're going, we're going down it. there we're not gonna be blown away are by you the mentally lights. ready we're going for down, it doing it in a wrestling ring there's nowhere the outlaw and the goat belong better than in a wrestling ring to win a match so double toasted you're about to get triple toasted maybe quadruple toasted i think they're ready we're done with you all right well i mean <laughs> before we go though yeah. I, I saw emma okay. around and i was wondering if she could if she's able to, Emma, can you can you? Is it coming, Emma? Fun with Sam. Uh, what's going on? Well, Hi, Emma. We are, we are playing double toasted in Houston. Yes. And we're we're very excited about that. Mm -hmm. We hope that we get the win. But uh, should we come back from Houston, we'd be three and one. I think, as John was saying, we've got some unfinished business with corruption. We were thinking maybe the collision might be a good time to settle this once. There and you go. Hmm. You know, I kind of like that idea. Definitely don't hate it. I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. Strongly leaning towards yes. Good. I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay. That's why she's one of the best commissioners I've ever seen. So. Best commissioner we've had yet. She understands the players and what they need. And she does what's best for business. Us against corruption. That's best for business. I mean, I'll play them in the parking lot. It doesn't have to be at the collision. It doesn't matter to me. I'll talk into both of these mics. I'll play collision anywhere. <laughs> I mean, it's anywhere. It's a collision. Come on. Okay. 
play him in Chance's one bedroom studio. That's what I'll play him. Hey, Chance, clean up. I'll come and kick your ass in there. Vacuum. Do something for God's sakes. Throw away all those old fast food containers. I'm coming for you, kid. Bring it up. And Kalinowski, put the hair product on. We're going to come and whip that ass, too. Bring it. Hey, Dan, I can't talk anymore. That's all right. Thank God. Man, oh. Roka is good at talking oh, trash. Wild berries. It's about to get interesting. You guys kept that very competitive. And then the wheels just kind of fell off in that third round you after you transformed back into the wild berries. Well, here's the thing. You can only keep a, a larva in his shell so long before the butterfly comes out, right? And it was a real drunk butterfly. Yeah, and that butterfly... Uh, that butterflies, take it. butterflies they, they fly out of that pupa quite angry. <laughs> Quite a little bit uh, uncoordinated when they get out there should... in the world spreading their wings. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the wild berries, they're, they're the biggest butterfly of all. Yep. And, and Jen, uh, man, we had so much confidence going in this match. We thought this was going to be, you want some sharp? Are you drinking with a straw? Yeah. I was just trying to give shirt. everyone Jesus. what they wanted. Yeah. Everyone thought it was like, oh, the wild berries are too loud. The wild Good job, Jen. Too mean. Honorary wild like, berry. I care about this fan base so gosh darn much that I decided to go Thank mild you. with my match and got nothing but grief for it. So figure out what you want. Did you want else? I Did I you mean, want the mild berries? Did you want the wild berries? Either way, we fought real friggin' hard. And soft. And, and mildly <laughs> Too much we fought on two fronts and lost both. I, I, has anybody ever heard of a movie with a polar bear called like Donnie in the North? What was that? That's not a real Norm movie. of the it's North. It's like an animated movie on TBS on a Thursday. That one was a plant. But Probably. But look, guys, I was with you. <laughs> I was with you even Can through I the. Hat? Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I was with you <laughs> even. She was having a bad hair day. Sorry. No, she's not. Uh, you Jen, you got a lot I mean, of volume in your hair these days. It's oh my fantastic. god, it's very uh, flock of seagulls. Look, yeah. I was with you guys through the whole yacht. <laughs> things. I, was, I was on board, <laughs> even though it was much more subdued. <laughs> I was nowhere near a flock of seagulls. Uh, because, you know, I can get down with either way. Uh, but still. That's what she said. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all jokes aside, guys. <laughs> what you did with the belt was was. Look, it was a little disrespectful. Okay, right, like, you don't right, understand. No, 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 Josh. Right, wait, you don't wait, understand. Wait, I was a sitting little inappropriate. watching this. The entire audience winced when you threw that belt. Wait, wait, wait. Clapping and cheering. Thank you. They loved it. Wait, let me, real the quick. real disrespect is what these so-called champions have been doing with these belts. <laughs> wearing it on their loser bodies. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I spoke out of turn. I don't want to go heal just yeah, yet. Yeah, here's the thing. <laughs> Kayfabe, guys. I, 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 I should have I should have not thrown the belt. Did flossing the belt feel pretty funny? It was pretty hysterical. But it did 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 throwing the belt was that a bad look? It may up. Oh, right. Look. Here's the commissioner. Yeah, yeah. All right, Bud Seelig, yeah. what am I gonna get? It was uh yeah, you know, it was it was not uh, a good look, Makuga. I'm sorry. I um You're good I, hair right thank, now. You much, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. I must say you have been a a, a great commissioner. Thank you. Fantastic. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Uh, you're doing a great job. Thank you. And I we're really big fan. I, you know what? I, I, he and I can't speak I, highly enough of yeah, Emma Fudd. I see. Highly I see what's enough. going on here, and uh, and you know I love you, Josh Makuga. Uh, but uh, not the color brown right now. It is glowing. <laughs> sure. Present. So. Sam is very particular Ooh, about the Sam. belt, Sam Levine. Uh, oh. uh, and, you know, he and I sort of share commissionership over everything. I am the commissioner of the team leagues, but he is the commissioner <laughs> of the singles league. And, again, very particular about the belt. I'm sorry. Well, can I there's... Just say that Sam is a great, great commissioner. Great guy. Sure. Fantastic great beer. Amazing work. You're and not. I going to change anybody's mind here. I'm sorry, Josh. You are suspended effective immediately what? for two months. What? Well, your behavior was just, uh, sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. You you flossed the belt between your legs, dude. It's a family show. Sort of. Oh. Not at all. What? <laughs> yeah, it should be. Two months. Why don't you go to some weddings while what you're that? Look, the wild suspended? Look, the wild bear is doing what the wild berries do. It was complete chaos and Jen Stewart, God bless you, to be able to survive that hurricane. But yeah. the big story there is the fact that Dan Merle asked Emma Fife 
that, and this is what I was curious yeah. how you were going to react to. Now, Emma Fife says that if the Founding Fathers beat Double Toasted, they will get corruption at the collision. So that is uh -huh. a big, and uh, she doesn't know what the stakes are yet, but that's a big match if that goes down. So how much more exciting is Houston, you, Houston to you now? It's the first time Houston as a city has been considered exciting for a lot of people, oh, and wow. I think uh, we're, we're excited to Why don't you uh, come to them, Houston? Uh, or maybe Double Toasted. He's and, not uh, wrong. Don't look past us. Don't look past us. Well, Either way, very interesting stakes now. Dan Merle is the champion. He's going to be defending that I love belt Houston. probably in May as well, too. And Jen asked him about that. I'm not a that. huge fan so of the city, but I mean, we're Austin. So. The other things that are happening in the world yeah. of the slowdown, and that's obviously the website. If you're not checking all the articles, all the schedule, you want to get <clears> tweets all the time. What's the schedule? What's, what's like the, the signs that litter our highways. Don't mess with Texas. Houston is barely Texas. It's more like New York or Chicago. No, New articles go up on that site. What? The Schmodown rundown it is the best in Oklahoma. it's ever been. Ugh, that's right. Brad Gilmore, that's rough. Frankie Janish, and Chris yep. Clark are doing a great job over there. They have interviews with competitors. You can find that at the hmm. official Schmodown uh, audio podcast. You go to Apple Podcasts, get it there. All these matches will be in audio form, but the rundown is available every Saturday. Make sure you check that out. And finally, go to the SchmodownLive.com. We're coming to your city sooner or later, so go and see where are we the closest to you. Go get those tickets. The Schmodown Well, Live three hours. Right, join Jesus. us on Facebook at yeah. the Schmodown. Join us over at Twitter at the Schmodown. <laughs> Everywhere you can find Instagram at the Schmodown. We will see you next time. And for the Pit Boss, Ken Knapsack, I'm Christian Harloff. Thanks for tuning in. Sam's here somewhere. I saw his car parked outside. Sam? Sam? No! Is, uh, is this your office now or something? Oh, no, no, I actually don't know whose desk this is, but there are some very upsetting pictures on this hard drive. Yeah, listen, it's great that you're here, Sam, because you know you're not here a whole lot. Uh, listen, I know you and I are kind of sharing commissionership of the Schmodown. I'm in charge of of the inner geekdom and of teams and your commissioner of the singles league, but I just You're doing a great job. Thank by the you way. very much. Uh, but the thing is, Sam, is that uh, you don't come in basically ever. I mean I may not physically be in the building, but you know, I'm still commissioning. Yeah. From where I'm yeah. thinking of myself as like the big picture guy. Sure. You know, like, where are we gonna order from lunch that week? Or Yeah, that's you know, who needs a permit for their car for parking? Parking permits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is Burbank. Uh, you can just park wherever, but there's lots of free parking garages. Anyway, the thing is, Sam, is you know, we've been having some big things go down lately. Obviously, there was the whole incident with Josh McCuga and the belt and having to suspend him, and it might have been good if you were here. The, the point of the matter is, is, you know, I've got a lot uh, on my plate. I am sure. actually the commissioner of two leagues, uh, yeah. and you are the commissioner of one of them, so I'm handling mm -hmm. inner geekdom and teams, and, you know, if you wanted to contribute to the singles, um, Commissioner managing, which is what you're supposed to be. I'm still, I'm still commissioning the singles league. Are you? Uh, yeah. Have you, Are caught, you caught my Skype sessions? Uh, you know, I watch all the matches, and Ellis, uh, you know, he always puts a little phone so I can actually see the matches oh, as they happen good. live. Great, great. I mean, in fairness, I'm usually, you know, doing other things like, you know, watching preseason baseball, but uh, I do have the matches on in the background, so I mean, I see what's going down most of the time. Yeah. Also, in fairness, uh, Ellis has been on tour doing stand-up, so I. Not really sure. That's how. why we haven't done one in a month. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I look forward to your increased participation in commissionership of the Schmodown. Okay. I'm thinking Wood Ranch next week. <laughs> okay. So he's been a somewhat absentee commissioner? <clears throat> Uh, he set up the three-way with uh, with Bibiani, Irwin, and Roca. Yeah, but I don't know. So storyline aside, there really isn't like I don't see that there's very much for the singles commissioner to actually have to do. As I mean, of right now, yeah, I mean, everything's been pretty much set singles-wise for the past month or two making sure that the matches are going straight so that uh dan can defend the belt at some i don't know yeah uh i mean 
lately there's been seemingly more of a focus on inner geekdom and the teams and with singles kind of taking a back seat so i mean we've seen a lot of singles matches that were more uh yeah, let's just put these people against these people and let's have fun watching this well they're they're more stipulation driven yeah so like the like the jonathan harris and which i think JTE. was still done by <clears throat> emma yeah, because there was a there was a team team aspect. There's a team stake. The, the stipulation is that the, yeah, there was a team thing at stake for that one. But it was still a single. It was still a stipulation driven single match. Uh, you're gonna see the same in Houston when you have Ben going up against uh, Guy. So you know, you, there's a lot of these singles matches have been stipulation based. So you know, to what degree he's involved in that, deciding what the stipulations are. Yeah, there you go. But. Other than that, there's been a lot. There has been a lot of action with uh, teams and and energy themselves. So. so basically, the takeaway from this is that <laughs> there seems to be some trouble brewing within the commissioners, and that who knows where that might go. Yeah, I don't know. So I don't know. that 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 could be the uh, the the seed planted. Something started there. We'll have to see in the future. What is Sam gonna do? But yeah, that uh, wild berries are on, on top form. Yep, love the wild berries. Absolutely entertaining. Just like we said at the beginning of this. Yes, you should name the video wild berries. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> they named it wild berries. I'll still name it wild berries. You found this video because I named it wild berries. Anyway, I mean that's that's an interesting that's an interesting uh, thing there that Josh. That's almost a heel move. And I don't like the idea of wild berries being heels. I like them to be... They were fairly neutral most of the time. So they were tweeners. Really, yeah, they were just really didn't care. If there's alcohol involved, they're there for a good time, and that's about it. They're, I mean, they're... That's, that's face to me. Mm-hmm. Fun, fun time face. But, uh, I mean, you, you got Dan and Roka over here. They got their eyes selling corruption, which leads us to Houston when they're going up against Double Toasted. Um... That is, that is, that is going to be a match to just keep their keep their fire burning. Mm-hmm. Against double toasted. Um, mm. So, yeah, the idea of them going up against corruption again in the collision, I think that's a good idea. Like it's, it would be good at a live event. It would also be good at a at a big event like the collision. And I think that's one of our few confirmations that the collision is sticking around. Now, whether it's just going to be called a collision or if it's still going to be called collider collision, we don't know. So there was also the <laughs> little bit, we mentioned it briefly at the intro, in regards to what is Corruption's presence going to be at Houston? Well, Ken will be there. We know something big is going to happen at Houston. We've mentioned this previously in other videos. But to what extent is corruption going to be there to really, I guess, intimidate founding fathers and yeah. the horsemen? I know. Well, we know Ken will be there because he's doing stand up with Ellis, I believe. Yes. So there's that. I don't know if he's calling a match also or what, or if Grace will also be accompanying him, possibly. Um, but I, I personally, now obviously no inside knowledge here, no clue. I personally would expect. Mike to show up in a cameo appearance. Anyone else? Mm, probably not. But at least I could see Ken, Mike, and possibly Grace showing up for some kind of cameo intimidation, some kind of thing of some sort. So basically what we're saying is we continue to believe that Houston is going to be a huge show. Both in gaming and in storyline. It's going to be amazing. And make sure you pick up your tickets at theschmodownlive.com. Yep. And if you possibly can't afford some tickets, we are giving away some <laughs> tickets for free. Check out this video right here to learn how you can win some tickets. You will get two VIP tickets to the Houston show, plus two tickets to Mark Ellis' stand-up show the night before. Which, again, you'll see Ken Knapsack, too. So Yeah, and make sure you also join us at the Schmodown meetup. It's going to be right next to Mark Ellis' stand-up. It's going to be at the timeout number one starting at 7 p.m. that night. You can also check that out on our, I guess, on the Facebook. There's an event for it. So Is the event up now? It sure is. All right. Well, there's an event for it. 
So make sure you check that out, and yeah, what else do we need to plug while we're at the plugging mode of this video? Uh, one thing is that you can hop on over to the Schmodown's Patreon. Obviously, we're watching this one early because we're on the Patreon. That's a benefit to being able to do this. You're seeing it now, obviously, probably on Thursday or when <laughs> everyone can watch the match. But Giving me, like, three days to edit this video, which is great. Benefits. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, jump on there. It's at least a dollar. To, to join, it's worth it. I mean, definitely. Think how much they're, they've done, they are doing this season, and what they want to do going forward. Hop on that. Support the Schmodown today. Yeah. Also, go over to the Movie Trivia Schmodown YouTube channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to them. Always helps them out. Even if you can't donate to the Patreon yeah, website. It always helps. Anything you can do definitely helps. Also, for us, make sure you like and comment on this video. What did you think of this reaction? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you want to talk with us? I comment loved it. Oh, I bet you did. You're in it. Comment down below. Up above us, there's also a button to subscribe to the side of us. You could also watch some other videos that we have gracefully made for you. And as always... I know I've said it before, but there is actually a spider on the ceiling this time. Yeah. Later. See ya. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. Too cliched. Is it?